This past November, music fans around the world were saddened to learn of the death of Leonard Cohen, one of the greatest artists Canada has ever produced. If you are a Canadian, or even more so, a Montrealer, you grew up listening to Leonard. He and my father liked each other immensely. In fact, he was an honorary pallbearer at my father's funeral. I remember a gathering the night before the funeral. I was going around the room, and as I do, giving hugs to everyone. Leonard was there. I remember walking up to him and giving him a hug. That was the night I learned out, Leonard, great man, but not a big hugger. <laughs> La musique de Leonard Cohen m'a accompagné tout le long de ma vie. Elle a bercé mon enfance, rassuré mon adolescence. Il a guidé mes pas le jour de notre mariage. Il savait comment choisir les mots pour exprimer chacun de nos sentiments. Ses paroles étaient sincères, envoûtantes et profondes. When Leonard left us, Montreal mourned the loss of a favorite son. He was born there, grew up there, and studied there. In a Westmount synagogue, he first heard the words, Who by fire, hallelujah, and more. Leonard loved Montreal, and we loved him right back. Leonard, and when Leonard sang about Suzanne taking him down to her place by the river, we knew which river he was talking about. He, he, mythologized, he mythologized the city, its streets, its people. He spoke to our minds, body, and spirit with stunning clarity. He shared profound truths and sang every word with candor and grace. We recognized ourselves in what he wrote. Leonard était un citoyen du monde, mais le Canada était fier de le compter parmi les siens. Il était l'un de nos plus grands ambassadeurs et souvent l'artiste canadien le plus acclamé sur la planète. Tonight, we remember Leonard for his deep voice, his humor wrought with self-deprecation, and the words that made his songs timeless. He will always be with us.